with the ebb and flow of UK employment figures, more people are looking to start their own business in order to make a living and to take control of their own financial future. Building a business from scratch can be a daunting prospect, not for the faint-hearted, but taking on a franchise business, buying into an established brand and business model can be an exciting option for anyone keen to take on a challenge. Brian Smart from the British Franchise Association tells us more. The BFA is an association of franchise networks which meet certain specific and detailed standards of good practice. We were put in place in the 1970s when there was quite an expansion of business format franchising in the UK. The best companies found that they were being disadvantaged because uh, people who had not really developed a proven business model were going into the market with glossy brochures but not a developed format uh, and winning uh, investors into their businesses even when they hadn't been fully developed. So the businesses who were meeting standards of good practice, who were offering fully developed business formats which they'd proven in the marketplace, they wanted an advantage in the market for prospective franchisees. And they wanted that advantage to be based on the work they'd put into developing their networks and the standards that they met. So they decided a standards-based kite marking organisation was the right way to make sure that potential investors could recognise good franchising from bad. We spent the day with John Richardson, chairman of Cartridge World Limited, and successful franchise owner Daniel Fensom to experience a day in the life of a franchise owner firsthand. Cartridge World is the kind of largest independent uh, retailer of um, print solutions and cartridges in the United Kingdom. We sell a range of uh, cartridge products, uh, both our own and also those uh, of the original print manufacturers. Um, and we run a franchise organisation where through uh, franchise owners we're allowed to develop that brand across the, across the country and then we can offer those cartridge solutions direct to consumers and also to businesses. The printing industry in the UK is, is a large industry. We estimate it has a turnover per annum of about £1.6 billion and people still buy 4 million printers a year in the United Kingdom so it's still a very attractive business and uh, a lot of our store owners have done very well in the last few years as they've offered a, a good quality value based product to the consumer. I uh, left college and I first of all worked for Halfords as an auditor uh, visiting the Halfords stores. Um, I did that for 10 years, very interesting work, gave me a good background in retail. Um, after that, after the 10 years there, I set up a telesales agency and mostly we did work for a charity, a blind charity that's based in London. Um, and I, I did that for eight years and then I sold that business. Um, I sold that to get involved with a management team that was carrying out a buyout of a transport company in the Midlands. Um, unfortunately, that ultimately that stalled, that business purchase. So I was then looking for a business opportunity and a business to get involved in. And that's when I found and, and looked into Cartridge World. Well, we're looking for people who have an entrepreneurial spirit. Um, people who, who really want to, to set their own business up, but they want to do so under the umbrella of a proven brand and a proven product and a proven process. Um, they've got to be, to a large extent, self-starters, uh, people who want to work hard and are prepared to invest in developing their business. And they can do so under uh, the guidance of Cartridge World, and they can do so having received a lot of support from the Cartridge World group. I saw Cartridge World first of all when a Cartridge World shop opened not far from an office that I was working in at the time. This was many years ago. They, um, I visited the store, I used their services and um, I, I, I enjoyed the guys, I liked what the guys were doing in their store. They worked hard but I looked at the skills they used and the skills that were needed in that business and I felt I had the skills to do that as well and that's what really sparked my interest in it. People who want to buy a franchise, they're looking for a proven business model, um, a model they can use successfully to develop their, their business. And the Cartridge World model has been around since 1991, when it was first launched in Australia. And today we have 1,600 stores in 60 markets around the world. So it's very much uh, a model where there's been success. And it's a model where we can provide a lot of support to the franchise owner. And our most successful owners, they have uh, a number of stores, 
and they have concessions in the market, they have a strong B2B business and they've got uh, growing businesses. I contacted Cartridge World Direct, um, I had a lot of questions for them, they answered those questions over the phone. Um, they arranged then for me to visit uh, Cartridge World in Harrogate and I went up there a couple of times just to discuss things, preliminary measures at that stage. Um, I was actually uh, strangely I wasn't too worried about geography at that time other things had come to an end in my life so I was looking for a business opportunity and I didn't mind where it was um, so we spoke then about the stores that were available and the possibility also of starting a store from fresh um, the, the Croydon store at that time was a store where the owner was looking to sell the business um, and I looked at that store and I, I liked what I saw so proceeded with a purchase on that business for a successful franchise model, you have to employ um, the kind of processes and the guidelines of the model. And that starts with the brand. Uh, the Cartridge World brand is well known. And then a lot of the production processes and the selling processes are applied consistently uh, across the network. Within that, the franchise owner has a lot of flexibility to operate. Some of our owners have, for example, um, fully resourced uh, production units. Others run concessions, others have satellite stores, others have multiple stores. So we work uh, very closely with the franchise owner to see how they can best um, exploit the territory and develop the brand. I would not have considered a franchise before I saw the Cartridge World franchise uh, that I was using as a customer and saw how that business worked there and then. Um, it, to be frank, I, I, I think I almost had an attitude of um, I couldn't see any point in being part of a franchise. Having now been part of a franchise for a number of years, I see it differently. It's, it's certainly worth being involved with a franchise. I think the key point is, is the brand, the name itself. In this day and age, particularly the current economic climate, that's a benefit, it's a bonus. And to have that, to have the strength of that name, a recognised name um, that's respected, it's a great bonus, a great help to enable you to trade better in, this, in these times. The most important success factor for any franchise is the franchise owner. Um, because it's the ability with the support of Cartridge World or the franchisor for them to develop the model and to expand that into their territory. And that is the key component of success, is the owner themselves. Um, we have over 200 territories, for example, still available in the United Kingdom, so we're always searching for good quality prospective franchise owners. And I think it's critical that when you award a franchise, you do so to the, to the right personality and to someone who has sufficient funds to invest. I'm quite hands-on in my business. I start the business, my normal working day starts at 8 o'clock. Um, and I generally visit the Central Croydon store first. I have a manager that runs that store. Uh, we meet at 8 o'clock there, we discuss everything that happened the previous day and then our expectations for that day's trading. Uh, we also exchange stock, we move some of the stock between the uh, shops so at that time as well we'll exchange some of the stock. Uh, once I've finished there I'd move along to the uh, South Croydon shop um, and I generally get that one ready with the staff at that shop so we're ready to open before nine o'clock, everything's in place, the day's organised, ready for the, for the day coming. We, um, I then would normally, by nine o'clock, I'd speak with the Crawley store, the manager here at Crawley, um, and speak with her about how everything's going and whether there's any concerns or issues to be dealt with for the, for the coming day. Um, I generally then spend my day as customer based as I can. So I'm serving customers, um, I'm visiting customers to deliver products occasionally, um, dealing mostly with customers through the day. Any admin issues, those sorts of things, I generally try and wait till after the working day, till after the shop has closed. Well we have a lot of uh, our franchise owners are running family businesses. Um, so they're working with their partner and in some cases their son or their daughter. We're looking for people who do have entrepreneurial spirit, people who are prepared to work hard um, and people who can work well within a structured model. I think as, as happens with a lot of these things, you, you fall into a situation. It, it so happened that um, my wife, after we'd been running, after I'd owned the first store for a little over a year, my wife was then made redundant from her work in the city. Um, 
we looked at things. She was looking for work at that time, and that was when there were a lot of redundancies going on in the city, so it was it was fairly tough climate in the city in terms of jobs in London. And uh, we, uh, we therefore looked at the opportunity of extending the t to two shops and for her to manage one of those shops. She'd obviously helped me part-time in our shop. It's, it's it's a good business for a family in, in many ways to, to be involved in, for wives to help husbands and sometimes the other way around, obviously. Um, so we opened the other store more as an opportunity for her and to enable her to do that. So that was a few years ago now, three years. Uh, two children later, she's no longer in the business and we have a manager running that store. Welcome to Cartridge World Crawley. Uh, this is the latest of my three stores. Um, we sell mostly cartridges at this store, obviously, that's what we're here for, but uh, brandy paper, Cartridge World brandy paper, printers as well, a small selection of printers, uh, various leads associated with computers and printers. We also have um, our stationery and paper. We do quite a lot of business in photo paper. We go to great lengths, obviously, to ensure the quality is just right and to make sure that the user has a great experience with their products. When you get into a franchise business, you're going to need to meet the costs of having been recruited and selected as someone who is going to be able to make the business work. You're going to have to meet the costs of setting up the business from scratch in a new location, the costs of training you in all the things you need to be able to do in order to be able to open the doors or start the business uh, and get going from day one. Those are not immaterial costs. You shouldn't be paying a great deal more than that. There will be a license fee for the right to use the brand, and depending on the strength of that brand, that license fee may be higher or lower. But it shouldn't be a hugely significant part of the price that you're going to pay. You're also going to need to meet the working capital costs of the business. Whenever you run a business, uh, it costs you money up front to buy in product or stock, or to put in place everything that's needed to deliver your service. It's not going to be immediately that you get that money back from customers. The more business you do, the more money gets tied up in that period between acquiring what you're going to sell and selling it on to your customers. And working capital in some business can be a significant element of the money you're going to need to find to get going. In franchising, you shouldn't find that there's any huge profit element there for the franchisor. Their interest, if it's a good franchise, should be in their share of the business you do subsequently with customers selling products or services successfully. So initial fees aren't the whole story about the costs. There's also the continuing fees that you'll need to pay in order to continue with the rights to use the brand, to use the business system, and all the updates which the franchisor, again if they're a good one, is going to be building in uh, to the business that you're running with them. Join us after the break to find out more from Daniel and the team about the day-to-day -day operation of a Cartridge World franchise. At Cartridge World, we stock thousands of printer branded cartridges, plus our own brand of quality cartridges that are compatible with all major brands. Which means you'll save at least 30%. Rest assured, every Cartridge World cartridge is 100% guaranteed. Cartridge World experts can help make your printing easy. Talk to us about how to save you money. One doctor gives you national prefixed prices with no call out or overtime charges 24 hours 365 days a year drain doctor emergency plumbing and drainage as quick as a wink the doctor will see you now revive offers a mobile solution to minor damage on cars whether it be a bumper scuff or a damaged alloy Revive carry out a professional service nationally for private individuals, fleet companies or car dealerships. Revive technicians are fully accredited and the mobile service comes to you at a time and a place to suit. Revive your car today. Choosing a plumber should never be a gamble. Call Drain Doctor.
and it won't be. Breathtaking alpine scenery, lakes and mountains. Switzerland is a truly authentic experience. Switzerland Travel Center specializes in holiday itineraries designed for you. Combine scenic rail journeys on board the iconic Glacier Express with mountain excursions, hiking trails or cycling tours. Visit our website or give us a call. Our consultants are proud to share their expertise with you to help create the perfect holiday. Switzerland Travel Center. Nobody knows Switzerland like we do. There's a national plumber that charges you the same rate with no call-out cost, day or night. Drain Doctor. Taking on a franchise is a big step and one you should only take once you've thoroughly researched what's really involved. British Franchise Association accredited exhibitions are your perfect opportunity to speak with experts, hear from franchisers, and gain from free educational seminars. Visit thebfa.org for all upcoming exhibition dates and access to free tickets. The doctor will see you now. At Cartridge World, we stock thousands of printer branded cartridges, plus our own brand of quality cartridges that are compatible with all major brands. Which means you'll save at least 30%. Rest assured, every Cartridge World cartridge is 100% guaranteed. Cartridge World experts can help make your printing easy. Talk to us about how to save you money. Welcome back. We're with Cartridge World, dealing with the daily challenges and logistics of running a successful franchised business. The Cartridge World brand is very important to the whole network because, and to the consumer. Yeah, we've got to make sure that the consumer receives what's promised in terms of the brand, i.e. the product works, the quality delivered is excellent, the service and support are superb. And, and generally we find that um, they buy into that concept because at the very outset they've wanted to buy into a business where there is a proven success model and therefore to, to be successful they have to apply that model correctly. Welcome to my Croydon store. This is the store that I purchased first, um, the first of three of my stores. We. Um, I bought this store from a, a franchisee that had run the store for five years before I bought it from him. He had put a lot of the business practices in place that we still operate now. Um, he left the store in very good standing. He put a good foundation in place that we've been able to build on over the years. We're just down the road, so it's always this branch we come to. Um, we've known Daniel for a few years now, and all the staff get to know him quite well, and everyone's friendly, helpful, and they let them go out of the way to offer a good service. I enjoy working on the counter, I'm very hands on on the counter and I think that customers enjoy being served by the business owner, they know obviously it's, it's, it's my business um, and they just appreciate that, it seems to encourage them to come back more and more. Daniel I think if you, is, your, is your ideal franchise owner, he, he has a background in uh, setting up his own businesses in the past, he's very commercially aware and he's very motivated to develop his his the brand within his territory. Um, as you said, he has three stores. Uh, he has uh, two stores in, in Croydon, and now his third store in Crawley. And he's applying that model successfully across those three stores, and I, he's exactly the kind of uh, personality we'd like to see in the network. In the first stages, um, the support was the training. So I trained initially for three weeks in Harrogate, full-time training. The first two weeks of those three weeks were um, on the technical side, training on, on, on just the cartridges, the physical makeup, the manufacturing processes on those cartridges. The third week was the business side, so lots of advice on running the business. I'd run businesses previously, but there was interest in, there was a lot of information to take in, that was, was very useful. Having finished those three weeks, and this to bearing in mind is before I've even taken, hold, taken the keys to my shop. Um, we then, I then, it was organised then for me to um, work alongside an existing franchisee. Um, I went down to the south coast and worked with some great guys down there, gave me lots of uh, tips and everything. But the key thing there is you see the business in the nitty gritty day to day running of the business and that's obviously very useful. 
um, stood me in good stead then when I started the, the store for the first time in Croydon. The total market for print cartridges in the UK, both the uh, cartridge that sits in your home printer and the, and the, and the business printer, is worth about £1.6 billion a year. But if I add up all the revenues from our stores in cartridge world, it's around £24 million. So we've got huge growth potential. So what do I want to do? I want to um, expand our network now. I want to expand our network. We have 200 uh, territories available if people want to, to join Cartridge World. Uh, I also want to significantly grow our B2B offer. And we've just launched a superb new uh, Business Direct proposal. And we want to be more active online. So I see the future of Cartridge World as, as one of growth, really. And I think that's in the interest of the franchise owner because we've also got to remember that when people buy into a franchise, they've also got to think about when they might want to sell it. And really, uh, they want to be able to sell something that has value after 5, 10, 15 or 20 years. And it's very important that they consider that when they enter a franchise. So I think it's in both of our interests that we grow our business in the United Kingdom. There's three sides to it. I enjoy it. So there's the customer side, the interaction with the customers. There's the task technical aspect of actually manufacturing the products. And then there's the business side as well. And those are the three things I enjoy the most. So it, it works for me, for sure. One of the things, of course, dealing direct with the customers, I get a good hands-on feel for exactly what products are, are current, what's needed, and it keeps me in touch with, with the business entirely. Everyone in the office knows everyone that works down here and vice versa. Um, if we come down or if we can't make it down, if we're really busy, not a problem. They come up, deliver the cartridge, pick them up. And if there's been problems with our printer as well, they do come up and repair it or see if there's anything they can help. In every business, there's going to be challenges. I wouldn't want to leave anybody with the impression that success is available in a franchise without effort, dedication, hard work. It would be wrong to suggest that. Um, as part of a franchise, there's a greater network and greater information and greater support to enable you to overcome a lot of those challenges that you'll come across. Well, first of all, we have a well-known brand. Uh, we understand the brand and we have all of the marketing materials and the suite of support materials to, to enable that brand to be developed successfully. Second, uh, we provide extensive training to all prospective franchisees and owners and also to their staff. Training on the products, on the market, on how to do, for example, the important B2B sale, and also on how to manufacture uh, the product. And it's extremely important that we deliver the consumer a very high quality product, backed up by excellent service at the right price. And really the training that we deliver to the franchise owner encompasses all those elements. Once they start, we have dedicated business development managers who spend a lot of time with those franchise owners in helping them to get their business started. We have a network of franchise owners that want to support each other to grow the network. The differences between running um, a franchise business and a non-franchise business, I'd mentioned previously that there's the brand, the name itself, that, that comes with being part of a larger organisation, a franchise. That's obviously the key difference between the two. Um, the other issue is the support network you've got. There's the support from both the franchisor and the departments that you have use of. I use the marketing department in Cartridge World quite a lot. I certainly use the technical department quite a lot. There's also a business development manager that visits me periodically, visits all of the stores, um, and obviously gives me good business advice and, and, and passes on best practice from a lot of the other franchisees. Um, the, the other thing is the job satisfaction that comes. When you're on your own very often, you've not got a team um, as wide around you as there is within a franchise. So to have a, um, a team of other franchisees and the franchisor with those supports around you is another key point as a benefit in a franchise. We do have a new exciting uh, model we're about to launch, which is a mobile model where you would start developing your territory using a, a mobile ve a vehicle, uh, we call it Cartridge World Express, and it'll be focused purely initially on building a B2B business, and once you've um, achieved a certain scale, you can add another mobile unit, or then you can start thinking about putting a store in place, putting concessions in place, etc. So we've, we've got a, an approach now that will enable a franchise owner to come in and establish themselves in a new territory, and the investment for that would be about fifty to sixty thousand pounds. Of course, the banks are looking at the risk as well as the reward side of setting up a new business. And when they look at a proven concept like Cartridge World, 
we believe that they see that as a less risky investment. So actually we think if it's a successful franchise model, it's easier for the uh, investor to, to get the funds. But I think it is very important that the uh, franchise owner put some of their own money into the, uh, into the venture and we ask that they put at least 30% uh, of the funding in. It's very important that they see that they are building their own business. That carries rewards, but it also carries risk, and it requires a lot of hard work. Before being part of Cartridge World, I wouldn't have suggested that it was necessary to be part of a franchise. Having joined Cartridge World, having worked here now for the best part of five years, um, and uh, just working the business as I have, I have no hesitation in recommending being part of a, of a franchise. Um, Cartridge World has worked well for us and uh, I'd certainly advise people to do that. Franchising is a great way of getting into business. If you try and do it on your own, you've got to decide what product or service you're going to sell, uh, where you're going to sell it from, how you're going to promote it, and what price you're going to charge in relation to the costs you've got in producing and selling your product. Now, you've only got to get that price a little bit too high and you've got no customers. You've only got to get it a little bit too low and you might just as well give people a pound every time you sell anything. It's not easy at all to put in place a business format that works. That's what franchisors have already done. When you buy into a franchise, you buy into a business format which already is known to work in a marketplace. What you've got to do is to exploit that system in a similar market in a new and duplicated operation, just like the franchisors. Running a franchise business may not be for everyone, and every franchise is different, but it can be a brilliant way to take control of your own work, to learn new skills, and to develop your professional life. Join us next week as we explore how to invest in the right franchise.